Hey guys, Motor Car Nut here, and today we're going to be addressing an issue with the stereo on the 2009 and up uh, Ford F-150 or any kind of Ford product that would have this issue. Um, you turn your key on and your clock blinks, okay, and the radio doesn't work. Okay, as the trucks get older, this is a common problem. There's a couple of couple of issues of why that's happening. Number one, what you would like to do is check the fuses for the radio. Uh, I'm going to show you where they are. On the passenger side, you're going to have your cover right here. It's back there. You're going to take this cover off, and then you're going to have the fuse cover right here. And it's kind of convenient because it shows you the location of the fuses from one all the way up here, and then, you know, you follow them down. And this goes like this. This is mounted in the back where the fuses are right there. Okay, so what you do, you take this out, and you're going to look for number number um, nine. 19. Is it, 19 is right there. And 29, which is at the end over here. So 9, 19, and 29. So it goes this way. So you get, get a mirror up in there. You see the fuses over there? You get a mirror and make sure it's lined up like this, and you'll know your 9, 19, and 29. Okay, all three of those, 29 is really the radio fuse, the other one is for an amp, and the other one is for the, the signal, the GPS and radio signal antenna. Just all three of those, just check those. Those turn out okay, then um, it's probably going to be a connection behind the radio or the radio itself, all right? Okay, so now, or now if you're driving and you hear, when you're driving, you hear a pop. Nothing really happens, but sometimes you hear a pop or if the radio goes off. That's an indication that the radio itself is at fault. And a lot of times there's solder joints on the board. When you take the radio out and take the radio apart, uh, there's, there's solder joints that come loose. And, and that's the problem. It would have to be re-soldered. Uh, but you really have to know what you're doing. If you if you know what you if you know you know if you took computers apart and radios apart, then then that that's that's the way you go. You can probably get it going. Now, a quick way to see if it's really that is you believe it or not, you tap the radio with your hand pretty hard. You know, in this area, you know, you couple times, couple of really good times. If the radio comes back on. Then you know it's it's that that those solder joints on the uh, radio itself. Radio has to come out. And you have them done, or you can replace it with a new radio, or you can replace it with a junkyard radio that works. But you're probably going to have that same problem because they're all going to be the same age. All right, me personally, mine did it. I tapped it; it went back on, so I know it's that. I'm going to take it out. I'm going to resolder it myself because I like the standard setup. I'm not crazy with all the high-end stereo stuff in this car, even though I love that stuff. Anyway, I'm pretty contented the way it is right now, so that's what I'm going to do. Another thing is, if you have those, any kind of speakers that are crackling, if they short out, it's going to short the radio out or blow the fuse or just keep the radio from not coming on. That's a little bit different if, issue with the same symptoms. So if you tap, give it a nice tap on the radio and it still don't do nothing, it could be a shorted out speaker, especially if your speakers were making noise, crackling, you know, making all kinds of noise. Sometimes they get old and they short out. Okay, but I would say 99% of the problem is going to be the radio. Okay, the fuse, yes, the fuse is, is always good to check that first. But that's in this particular situation, that's probably second. It's probably the radio because, you know, I see a lot of these failing like that. All right, so now that's what I did as I tapped it. See, now she's not blinking. And you put it on. And it works. So, you know, I mean, you, it's not a good idea to keep tapping it because you have electronics in here. But just to, you know, just to see if that's the situation. Like I said, you give it a nice, real sharp tap right here with your hand. A couple of times it pops back on. It's probably the radio with a loose solder joint. All right, guys. Motor car nut. Please subscribe. Hit that like button. Any questions, leave them below. I answer all my questions pertaining to the videos. I'll see you guys in the next video. Appreciate all the comments. And, um... Thank you very much.